Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2022. This first episode is starting with our retail uh, working groups around video. Hi, Colin. How are you? How was your new year? Very good. Thank you. Very good. Very excited about 2022 and our video series and uh, the working group getting stuck into more proactive ways to use video and the investment in video. So we're talking about three sessions which are coming up uh, in the near future. So tell us all about it. Okay, well, the first one coming up on January the 12th is going to be a, a real deep dive into how can we use video to uh, identify uh, suspicious or unusual activity at the shop, at the shelf, uh, and uh, take those alerts and then action them uh, with members of staff or indeed the security team uh, to prevent uh, stolen goods potentially leaving the store. So not something new uh, as such in terms of an idea or concept and I recall, you know, people presenting this idea over 10 years ago. However, the technology does seem to be moving at pace. The machine learning seems to be getting better and better. And we're going to hear from a, a retailer in Australia who's actually implemented it, uh, got results that have seen their shrink go down from 1.3% to 0.3%, and uh, been able to put it in the store at maybe a fraction of the cost of a security guard. So it's a, it's a pretty interesting case, but I think more importantly, I think it's going to start a, a bigger conversation with the group around whether this is a, a capability that can actually be scaled across many, many stores. Uh, so very, very interesting, uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that on January the 12th. So that's, uh, I believe, also uh, is based on the gesture recognition. So there are several scenarios which can uh, they can identify. And personally, I'm looking forward to see how the false alarms rate got improved with the time. Like you say, the technology was there for many years, but uh, normally the amount of false alarms were so high that it was absolutely not feasible. It was more expensive to maintain the system and to deal with that than actually using the technology. So really looking forward to see how it's transformed with time. So, and what are the next two? Well, look, I mean, this is uh, almost uh, Christmas come again early for 2022, but we've got the second one is around goods lost in transit. So how can you use video in a fulfillment center when you're picking online orders and distributing and getting returns uh, to uh, maybe reduce the cost of that problem and the cost of goods lost in transit. And we're next uh, presenting how they started to use um, video to sort of help with the picking process and the picking accuracy, linking in with customer service so that if customers are perhaps uh, claiming that uh, some items weren't delivered or were not in the packing list, again, there's a, there's a method of using video to sort of very quickly, like we used to do or still do with EPOS, to see whether in fact it was packed or not. But I think it goes beyond that. And the group discussion will go beyond that and uh, explore how video can be used across the journey of the online uh, goods uh, to verify uh, that the product has arrived or returned. So that's exciting. Uh, and uh, that's a big problem for certainly for e-commerce uh, uh, retailers. And that session is going to be on February? The 9th. Sorry, did I not say that at the beginning? February the 9th. That's the, the session there. That's starting at 1 p.m. UK time. Uh, so that's 2 p.m. 2 a. Sorry, 7. No, no, okay, we'll get that now. 9 a.m. in uh, Eastern. You can 8 a.m. in Eastern. I'll get that right. And then on February the 10th, we have another session. Oh, keep, the gift that keeps on giving. Yes. Uh, so this is on uh, February the 10th, and this is a. First of all, it's looking at again how can we grow sales and improve productivity with video, and specifically looking at the problem of on-shelf availability. And so we're looking at it through the two lenses. One is an update from Monoprix. And remember, Damian uh, presented last year on how he was using cameras on the shelves to identify the gaps and to save time stores checking the shelves and just simply producing, you know, a gap checklist. Uh, and he's going to talk about that and how it's been integrated, perhaps, in the replenishment orders that get to the, that sent to the store. And then that's, we have... Yeah, that yeah that's is, really interesting because... Uh, Actually, uh, everyone can request the recording from the last year and then uh, to see the follow-up then from Damien. There you go. Uh, that's uh, to see uh, what was uh, said last year. You're right. And the second one is from uh, Johannes from Unilever, and uh, he's in charge of their global ice cream uh, business. And he started to put cameras into, and I'm using me simplistic by saying cameras, 
he he started to put video and cameras inside chilled cabinets to be able to monitor and see what's inside the cabinets, whether there's enough uh, dark chocolate magnums or uh, almond magnums. And very interestingly, he started to see whether actually the camera can create more accurate and timely replenishment orders uh, than the store manager doing the ordering at the store level manually. So really interesting uh, ideas around productivity and improved availability and, and sales growth. And both of these uh, case study retailers or uh, case study retailer and case study CPG have results uh, to share. And I think that will set up a very interesting group discussion around what others are doing and what lessons can be learned from Unilever and from Monoprix. So again, very exciting uh, session. Sounds great. So three sessions, three amazing new applications, maybe not so new, but with the new results. So looking forward to that. And thank you for coming and joining me to uh, cover all three of them today. So thank you and looking forward to see you soon there. Thank you. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.